Hey guys, it's Tiffany Blue Pearls. I'm here to do another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my everyday makeup. And by everyday, I mean literally the makeup that I wear even to work and do all that stuff. So I'm actually going to, it won't take me as long as it does for like my normal draggy makeup. So I'm actually going to film the whole thing and we're just going to talk through it. So first things I always do is I use this exact headband every time and hold back my hair. I don't know why. But I love this headband because it's got these cute little things on it. Let's see if I can readjust you guys to where it's going to be better. That's not any better. And so first things I do every day is I start with my Cover FX primer. I literally do this every day. I mean, this is it's the same thing I use when I'm doing drag. So if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at my mirror, which is actually right beside of you guys. So give me just a second to put this on. So I think I've decided with this channel, I'm going to start doing a lot more makeup. Like here in a couple weeks, I'm hoping to get an actual camera. And that right there should help me a lot. I should be able to film a lot more because the problem is I just can't film that much on my phone. So the next thing I do is I go in, I actually got this from a friend of mine. Because she got it, didn't realize it was brown uh, mascara. It's just CoverGirl Lash Exact, but it's brown. So I actually use brown mascara for my eyebrows for the daily basis stuff. Now we start from the outside, scraping in. Then I go over here and I go down all the way across before I go back up and fluff it back out and make them look like normal eyebrows. That way I get my entire eyebrow covered in. See, look at that. Doesn't that look much better? Look at that. And then I'm going to go back in for some more. So we're going to start this side the same way. So that's how I do my everyday eyebrows because it makes it look like natural hair. Well, I mean, it doesn't make it look like natural hair. It's actually natural hair. So unlike my other makeup stuff, I have perfected this by doing it every day like we talked about. So it does not take me as long as my drag makeup because like I can film this one in, you know, 10 minutes from now, I'll be done and I'll be ready to go start my day. But the draggy ones, I need to wet my beauty blender. But the draggy ones, because it takes so much more time to do the gluing down of the brows and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, it literally takes me an hour and a half between everything. So the next thing I go in with is this NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector in shade Light to Pale. Because I am light and I am pale. So I just go into my under eyes. And cover that mess up. I will say this stuff, it doesn't look like it's working until you put foundation on over top of it. And then it really just, it does really conceal the dark circles very well. Actually, the camera's picking, not actually picking up the dark circles like they are in real life. So once I get that done, I go in with this Maybelline New York Concealer in shade 20 Light. It's a boring name. And I literally just squirt it on the Beauty Blender and then just dot it all over where I'm going to be putting foundation. Now for every day, I don't do all over foundation because for everyday makeup my chin and everything see I just blend it out but everyday makeup I don't go all the way down to my like, chin area I normally blend it out right along the apple of my cheeks because if I take it down too far it just sweats off because I sweat so much at work go over the eyelids so everything matches Go back over the forehead because I missed a couple spots. Let's 
I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my be my beauty blender is literally like slapping against my forehead. Because when I put makeup on, I put it on like I'm beating it, literally. When they say beat your face, I take it literally to mean beat my face. Okay, so now that we've got concealer on, I'm going to close that up. I go in, which I need to get some more of this because it's super good. I got this with Ipsy, I believe. Just makeup forever. I'm almost out. But the way I put on my foundation, I'll show you, is I take it and I just do two pumps of two lines and then I dot those across my face. Why two lines? I don't know. I just started doing it that way. Because like I said before, I don't have a drag... I don't think I've said it on the channel before. I've told people before. But I don't have a drag mother or really any mentor for makeup. Like, I mean, I have mentors online. But in, you know, my actual everyday to day life, I don't really have any mentors for makeup. I started doing it on my own. Actually, funny story... What really, I've always been into drag, like just the art form. I've always loved watching drag queens on TV and that kind of stuff. Um, but what actually got me into makeup was I ordered a mystery thing from Wish and I got a liquid lipstick and I put it on and I loved it. So it literally went from there. Wish got me into drag. So hashtag thank you, Wish. So that's blended out. Uh, about as good as it's going to get. Which is not normally something you want to say when it comes to makeup. But I say it every day. Put that up. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm dropping everything. Garbage cans falling over. Old makeup sponges falling out. It's just a catastrophe. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So then I go in... With this Rimmel Stay Matte in shade Silky Beige. I love this stuff. My husband actually got this for me just randomly one day. He's like, I saw it at the store and I thought you might like it. And I do. I love it. So I literally just bake my face with it. So I just literally put on a ton and let it sit. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there is powder going everywhere. There always is. And I normally go over my eyebrows a little bit, too, just to kind of set them down, too. Oh, my hair looks bad today. I let my hair naturally air dry when I got out of the shower this morning, so it's not wanting to do anything now. And then while that's baking, I always go in with e.l.f., setting powder because you can when you sweat as much as I do at work you can never have enough setting capabilities over the eyes over the forehead the nose my camera lens is dirty I can tell That didn't help anything. Let me grab. I'm, while this is baking, let me grab a sponge and see if I can try to clean you guys off a little bit. That made it a little better. Still not great, but it's a little better. So I usually let that sit for two to three minutes. So not really sure what to talk about. I need to put a little bit more on this side. It didn't get as much as the other side. So I'm not sure what to talk about at this second, honestly, because I feel like I'm just going to lean in and we're going to rap. We're going to have a rap session like it's the 90s. I just, I feel like we're, since I've started doing YouTube, it's been a few months ago since I put up my first video, but that was the unboxing for OMFG Cosmetics, which still love them, love them, but Ever since then, I've just wanted to record. That's all I want to do. I literally want to record a video every day, every minute, every hour. And it's gotten to a point where if I could turn that into a career, I would. 
And honestly, it's not even about making money. I literally just have fun being on camera. I have fun talking to the camera. It feels like another friend. Because right now, in my real life, I don't have that many friends. Like, I don't have anybody that I can just call up at any time and just be like, hey, today sucks, help me. It's I literally don't have that right now. And I've got people in my life that I love, don't get me wrong, but they don't, they're not as close as, like, the friend you call at 2 o'clock in the morning, like, your best friend when you're trying to hide a body, you know what I mean? Well, we just went off on a tangent, and I apologize if that was boring, but it is set long enough on my face that we can start brushing off the excess. So I literally just go through with this big brush. This brush is by Daniil. I've used it so much you can't even read the label. But I love it because it's nice, it's big, it's fluffy, and the handle looks like bamboo. So I just go through, knock off all the excess powder. And right, and before I actually am completely done, I use my OM, I just talked about them, my OMFG Cosmetic Setting Spray. God, I love how this stuff smells. And then I use this old menu from somewhere that I'm not quite sure of anymore, and just fan it out. Fan it out. Help it dry. Help it dry. And then I just make sure it's all set, good to go. And ladies and gentlemen, we are done with my daily routine. And then, well, technically no, because right before I get dressed, I always take that out and comb out my hair with this comb by Dollar Tree International. Ting. Actually, I don't know where I got this comb. I've literally had this comb for... 10 years now. I don't know where it comes from. But there we go. Now, other than the fact that my hair is wanting to do this weird, like, finger wave thing, she looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. So, let me know down in the comments what makeup looks she would like to see next time. If you would like me to start doing more vlog style stuff, because there's a lot to talk about. Like, it's Pride Month. There's always something to talk about in Pride Month. But. Just let me know down in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. 